today's vlog this morning I've had kind of a slow morning and I just did some computer work had a nice oatmeal banana and peanut butter breakfast and some blueberries and I made a little iced coffee a little earlier today usually I make it in the afternoon but I wanted a little morning pick-me-up and it's so tasty and yummy so I'm glad I treated myself to some morning iced coffee but today I have lots of fun things planned we need to tidy up the apartment a bit because it kind of got a little messy from the weekend and I still have some Easter goodies and decorations laying around so want to put all those away and I also need to go over to the grocery store to grab our groceries for the week and I need to meal plan before I do that so I'll take you through all of that but first in and foremost I have a fun little challenge I want to do and it is creating a capsule wardrobe and I'm really excited to partner with Sperry's for that portion of today's video and basically if you're not familiar with the capsule wardrobe I actually pulled up a little definition because I want to do it justice and explain it properly but basically, a capsule wardrobe is a collection of a few essential items of clothing that do not go out of fashion, such as skirts, trousers, and coats, which can then be augmented with seasonal pieces. So it's pretty simple, but this is a really great way to practice your creativity and using pieces to create multiple outfits. So today I'm going to use five or six of my clothing pieces and three of my new Asperis that are oh so cute. I'm wearing one right now. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna try to create 10 outfits out of just those pieces. So it is quite a challenge, especially since I've never done this before. So I'm just gonna use the power of accessories to kind of make them different. And then I'll stick to more neutral core pieces that are timeless and can work in lots of different ways. So let's get started on this. This would be a fun activity to do alongside me and a great way to kind of spice up your wardrobe even when you're just staying at home. So let's do it. Okay, these are the three pairs of Sperry's that I will be working with. They are so adorable. I love these with the pink and white stripes and these are just classic. And then these I have on already are so comfortable and cute, very classy. Perfect for working at home or working in an office in real life. They're just a great simple basic and I know they will pair nicely with a lot of different pieces. So I already laid out a few items that I think will be good, but I'm just going to kind of peruse through my clothing rack and closet to see what else might be handy for this capsule wardrobe adventure. <laughs> the gray one obviously I love them both but I feel like hmm I feel like the gray goes really well with the black shoes but pink is so great for spring and it would go well with these cuties so I think the correct answer is to always go with the pink I'm 
excited about the pieces I picked out for my capsule wardrobe. So I went with the pink blazer and then this really nice neutral jumpsuit because I can layer it and it's just a great basic. And this isn't necessarily a basic, but I just thought it was really pretty for spring and just love the pop of color and it'll look great for layering. And then classic pair of jeans. And then I just pulled lots of different accessories and I have my shoes at the bottom of my rack. So now it's time. Oh, also the, these two pieces I will be including in my little capsule wardrobe. And now it is time to show you guys the 10 different outfits that I put together with just these pieces. Let's see how they look. changing in and out of all those outfits but I really hope you guys liked it it was such a fun challenge and great to get creative with just a few simple pieces so that was a success and now I'm just gonna eat some lunch and then I need to meal plan for the week I have a couple ideas of things I want to make but then I'm gonna go run to the grocery store I also have to get a new pot for my fiddle leaf fig because he, we've had him for almost a year now and it's springtime obviously and this is the perfect time to repot your plants if you feel like they are ready to grow some more we have had him like I said for a year and he hasn't really grown any new leaves that I remember and he has lost some so I'm just a little worried about him he seems super healthy and stuff and I like to think I take good care of him but yeah he hasn't had any new little sprouts so i'm hoping to change that and hopefully a nice new pot will give him more room to grow sweetest husband in the world made me lunch because i was so busy oh my goodness sweetest this looks delicious oh yeah it's a hidden mickey <laughs> so cute thanks babe browse Pinterest but I also have my two cookbooks to get some inspiration for meals for the week I have Antony in the kitchen and this Disney festivals cookbook um, I have stuff to make my lentil recipe which I shared in Allison's eats video recently but I don't know I like to see if we can switch it up a bit more and then I know I want to make some goat cheese and garlic and lemon linguine later in the week but I don't want to make that till closer to the weekend so let's just browse a little bit and see what we can find my cookbooks had so many good recipes but they were all a bit decadent and I want to make something a bit healthier for dinner since we ate lots of goodies for Easter weekend and I found this recipe on Pinterest and I already have some of the ingredients so that helps and it looks healthy and so delicious so I think I'm gonna make this tomorrow and then I'm gonna make Buddha bowls I mean this today and then Buddha bowls tomorrow and then lentil stew after that and then some linguine I think that's how the week's gonna go 
All right, I am off to go pick up our groceries and Fiddlebert, our Fiddle Leaf Figs new pot. So I will just be out for a tiny bit, but I have to keep this shirt on because it's nice and airy and short sleeved, obviously, and it's already 96 degrees in Florida. So summer has arrived, but I'll do a little grocery haul right when I get back. Okay, I just got home from the grocery store and I was able to get almost everything except chickpeas pita bread and what was the other thing oh linguine which is kind of like three staples of the recipes i was gonna make so i'm gonna need to re brainstorm dinner ideas but we still have plenty 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 of food so really thankful and we'll just think of something else i'll probably end up making lentil stew for dinner i think brandon's not really craving it but we'll have to get something else later he's giving me a face like what love he loves it but i don't know you didn't seem excited when i said it earlier lentils too i don't know i just had lunch so i wasn't hungry yeah he just had lunch so excuses but yeah i'll do a little grocery haul and then we'll brainstorm new dinner ideas okay so got a ton of produce i love how colorful this is but first things first, I just got some bell peppers because we like to use these for a variety of different things, specifically for our scrambled eggs in the morning. I just saute some with onions and I also put a lot of onions in the lentil stew and pretty much everything I cook. So these are essential. And then I have this Amy's organic enchilada. We just like to have some frozen meals on hand if we're really busy or, you know, just in case. And then we have some Granny Smith apples and strawberries oh my goodness i am so in love with berries i love them so much they're so expensive but worth it to me and then i got this garlic and herb goat cheese and i got some blackberries and some blueberries and i also got feta cheese i actually grabbed this before i knew there wasn't pita or chickpeas but i mean we'll definitely use it for salads and stuff and then i grabbed some cherry tomatoes two pineapples because pineapple brandon eats pineapples every day for breakfast and then i got some tortilla chips usually we get like the healthy in quotations um tortilla chips with that are organic and like the blue corn ones but they didn't have any of those so i had to get the tostitos hint of lime which literally are the best things ever i could eat this whole bag the lime just adds so much it's so flavorful and then some raisins because Brandon puts raisins in his oatmeal. I personally do not like raisins though, so I will not eat any of those. Oh, and then I just picked up this Spanish style rice. You just microwave it and I thought it would be good. I don't know, maybe even with the lentils. Oh, because I don't have quinoa. Usually I serve the lentils with quinoa, but I accidentally forgot to get quinoa. So maybe we'll have lentils in this. I don't know. But lentils actually taste good by itself, so... Not a huge deal, but I thought that would be yummy. And then I got some olive oil because we needed that. And then I also got this Annie's mac and cheese because one day a few weeks ago we had this with some salad and it was super, super yummy. So I love that. And then I already showed that. And then a big thing of spinach, seriously huge, but if we don't eat it all, we can freeze it for smoothies. And then a bunch of banana. I'm thankful I was able to find some green ones because if I get the yellow ones, they go bad so quickly. I even take them off the like bunch so that they don't ripen as quickly, but they still ripen so fast. And then I got some avocados, some sweet potatoes, some eggs, oranges, and that's all our groceries. So lots of good stuff. And then the non-grocery items that I grabbed was, like I said, I'm going to replant our fiddly fig. So I got this moisture control potting mix. And I did research on what soil I should get for the fiddle leaf. And this one was recommended because what can really hurt them is if they are too moist, which I know people hate that word, but if they're too moist in their soil because they can kind of like drown per se so got that and then this is the pot i got also a little reusable bag for a giveaway i'm doing like a little care package giveaway but this pot is the one i got i'm hoping it fits in my basket we'll go check it out right now but fingers crossed it's really nice though and what i like about it is it's self-watering so you can take your little watering bucket and pour it in this little hole right here and then the plant 
drinks it from the bottom and that really prevents it from getting over watered and too wet so I thought that was super cool and it was a great price and even if I don't always pour water through this way, it's just really great drainage with all the holes and stuff and there's some room at the bottom. So I didn't have to buy any rocks or anything because if I got a pot without this, I would have put a bunch of rocks so that it would have room for the water to drain. So I thought that was a great find. And then I just needed some feminine care products. So that is it. Okay, just by eyeballing it, it looks like it'll totally fit just fine. Oh yeah, I don't even have to like place it in. We are Gucci. Okay, I made a little snack. Well, I didn't make these, but these are so good. The Annie's Organic Cheddar Bunnies delicious and i made this little container of a berry mixture so i have some blackberries and blueberries i just got and some goji berries and i'm gonna make my new meal ideas for the week list and i'll share any ideas i have with you guys okay so with the groceries we have i can make bootables veggie bootables which i do have a cook with me on how I make those and then lentil stew which I'm gonna make tonight and then spinach salad and sweet potato fries which is kind of random but such a good combo and then salad and the mac and cheese I got and asparagus and couscous because we already have those in our fridge and pantry so yeah all of these are really delicious and simple so if you're looking for meal ideas for your week hopefully these are good inspiration Okay, now it's time to do a major tidy up session. First of all, we have this mess out over here. I have my Easter decorations I need to box up and put up in our closet. And then I have all of this going on. It's not too bad, but you know. You know I like to keep the place tidy. And then we have this. I just have like my tripods out and you know the books out. I like to just put them in their spots. My eggs I need to pack up. And then the scariest of them all, the kitchen sink. So I'm gonna tidy up and then get cooking for dinner. One of my favorite kitchen hacks is filling a spray bottle with olive oil if you use it a lot like I do. It just makes it a lot easier to just squirt it, especially in a pan or a pot. Sometimes it makes it more messy to squirt it, but it's more easier to control and stuff. So I highly recommend doing it. Dinner is cooking, it's just simmering for about 40 minutes. So I figured while it's simmering and getting all nice and cooked through, I am gonna take a bubble bath. Seriously, nothing sounds better right now. I just really wanna do something relaxing and 
it's my time of the month and it's like my most painful day so all my females will understand usually there's like one day that's the most painful for me it's the second day and i'm having like lower back pain from it so a hot steamy bubble bath sounds so dreamy so i'm just gonna listen to some music close my eyes for a bit and just soak up in the tub and then I'll rinse off, take all my makeup off, which will feel really nice and get in my PJs and we can have a cozy little dinner. And I'm gonna try to convince Brandon to play a little board game with me tonight. Not for long, cause I have work I need to do anyways. And he's, he's still working. It's already five o'clock and, oh no, 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 it's almost six o'clock. And he usually works until 4.30 cause he starts at like 6 a.m. Um, but no, he's still working, so he's in the zone, so I'm just gonna take some self-care me time and listen to some music. I found this new song today. I shared it on my Instagram story, but I'll share it with you guys as well. It's so pretty. It's called Fresh Roses by Juke Ross, and it's amazing. It's so peaceful and sweet. I love sweet, like, acoustic songs, so yeah. That's what I'm gonna listen to. And then I'm gonna do a face mask also. So I don't know, I might wait to put that on after dinner because I don't want it to like get in the way of my eating, but we'll see, to be determined. to pour myself a nice glass of kombucha which for some reason just tastes way better in a wine glass. Cheers! <laughs> oh, fresh and clean out of the shower. Oh, such a good feeling when you're all like have your lotion on, you smell so nice. My bubble bath was fabulous also, so definitely what the doctor ordered. Um, and Brandon was so cute, he just filmed a little video message to his Sunday school kids at church. So precious, I just caught some behind the scenes. But now we are just going to eat dinner and just have a cozy rest of the night. Dinner is served. I ended up, <laughs> Brandon's excited. I ended up putting the Spanish rice at the bottom because I didn't have quinoa and then just made the lentils and topped it with some Greek yogurt. Super yummy, adds some coolness to it. And we're just gonna eat at the bar tonight and we're gonna do our Navigator's Council, which we love. It's like a marriage journal and you map out your week and your goals and just have like great conversation. So my friend Brianna gave it to me and we absolutely love it. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cup my tea for dessert, we have a leftover hummingbird cupcake that I made yesterday for Easter with cream cheese frosting and a dark chocolate Cadbury egg. It's so delish. So we're gonna share it and end dinner on a sweet note. Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on, put me together. Take me back where I be. Brandon is one of those people that will rearrange the dishwasher if he doesn't like how I put the stuff. <laughs> he spends a lot of his life doing that. <laughs> put me together. Take me back where I belong. Okay, this is the game we're gonna play tonight. It's called Bounce Off, and it's great. It's a great two-person game, and it's really easy. Basically, it's like Connect Four, but you bounce the balls into the little layout, and you try to get whatever pattern it says to get. So we're gonna play that for a bit. So for example, the first little pattern that you wanna try to bounce the balls in is this one. So you just kind of bounce it on the table and try, oh that was an awful example, <laughs> but try to get it. Oh, I am just not doing too well over here. Okay, let me show you for real. You just, oh my gosh, I'm a little rusty, guys. Okay, you go like this. 
Oh. <laughs> There we go, finally. So you just bounce it and try to get the pattern. I'm practicing. I'm gonna have a leg up. the end of today's vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it i love spending time with you all and cannot wait to see you super soon bye